Jonathan Jones, CBS Sports, here alongside Washington football team, commanders, wide receiver, Terry McLaurin. And, Terry, uh, you have a number of nicknames. Yeah. You got Scary Terry. You got Is it F1? Yeah. Is it Moneybag? <laughs> what, what, what's that one? Uh, I don't know if I've heard that one. But okay. That's there's, a, there's a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. Which, which or how many of those do you prefer? Um, To be honest, I used to say, like, Scary Terry was something that Terry Rozier had, so I didn't necessarily want to be called that. But, like, people have taken – like, once you get a nick game, it, like – They don't care. They don't care. So, like, I mean, at the end of the day, I just appreciate the support and the love that I get from the fans and the people that support me, you know what I mean? No matter what they're saying, just to know that they got their support and they're excited to see me perform and, and get a chance to meet me is really dope. Well, it's no wonder you have the support from the fans. Obviously, your play has, has earned you that, but also that. when you got that – contract extension and mm -hmm. the letter that you posted I thought was one of the classiest letters I've ever seen from any player after a contract extension mm -hmm. just what does it mean to you to not only get that extension but also express that sort of yeah. gratitude well I think um you know that was a dream come true to be able to be blessed with a contract of that magnitude there's so many um just so much work prayer sacrifice went into that by not only myself but my support system um to be continue my career in a place where I was drafted, where I was able to become a captain early in my career. Um, it's, it's a place that I wanted to be. So um, when I finally got that done, it was exciting for me because I was able to get my mind back focused on football and get ready to get back here with my teammates, which is what I really love. And, um, you know, I was pretty quiet throughout the whole process. I pretty much let my agent and, you know, the front office staff here handle the negotiations. And I just wanted to kind of give my viewpoint of how things are going both before the contract and now that it's over and just send out my thanks and, and appreciation to the people who have helped me get to this point and how excited I am to continue my future here. You mentioned being a captain from an, an early age, if you will, yeah. early part of your career. What does leadership look like for you? I've heard mm -hmm. from folks talking around here as you enter in year four. How have you taken these steps to become an even yeah. better leader? I think uh, when you first get into the NFL, me specifically, I kind of just wanted to learn from the other veterans that were on the team already. I just wanted to be a guy that was dependable, on time, did my job, and kind of was more so seen and not heard, just lead by example. And um, as my maturation process came along, as you know, my teammates wanted to hear more from me and they selected me to be one of their captains, I knew I kind of had to step up more in the vocal leadership role. And for me, vocal leadership is more so just, you know, the standard and the uh, expectation that Coach Rivera sets in front of us each and every day. And you just want to uphold that as a leader. You want to make sure guys coming out here with the right attitude, um, their minds right, or come out here with a good focus to to um, practice hard and get some things done that we need to to be successful this season. So, um, you know, it's it's one of the, the best accolades I feel like you can get because you're you're selected by your peers, the one who see you every single day. They know um, the time and the work you put in and, and how much you care for your team. So, um, you know, hopefully I'm selected again this year and I'm looking forward to continue to grow along with our other leaders. Yeah, I, I think you will be selected, Terry. <laughs> um, so, hey, uh, it's no secret you've played with a lot of quarterbacks mm -hmm. in your short time here, uh, in three years plus in, with the Washington Commanders. You have Carson Wentz here. Uh, there were reports out of here the first week, hey, offense is looking a little shaky, yeah. defense was winning. That's not atypical of most training camps that right. we have been to. Seems like the offense has started to find its rhythm a mm -hmm. little bit recently. Would you agree with that, number one? And number two, what's been your relationship like with Carson out here? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the first week you're trying to get a feel for um, being back in football mode and um, executing at a high level. And I think the defense did a good job of putting a lot of challenges in front of us. Uh, they made completions really hard. And um, I think that, that forced us to grow even more um, during these practice sessions. And we had some good days as well. But um, I just think the standard in which we're trying to set is um, a high one in that we want to execute as many plays as possible and create big plays down the field. And so uh, the way I've seen Carson continue to grow with not only myself but the rest of the receivers and our offense has been huge. He's he's really big on communication, which I think is very great for us because the clarity needs to be there for us to execute at a high level. And, um, you know, he's been around a few teams and, and he's played at the highest level. So I think um, just all the things that he sees can really help our young team. And, um, you know, it's been great to get to know him as a as a person first and just his ability to throw the ball down the field and, and have confidence in his receivers is something I'm really excited to be a part of. Yeah, you mentioned the receivers that he has confidence in. Mm -hmm. There's you. There's your old friend, Curtis Samuel, yeah. who's here, and he's looking good and spry and healthy. I know we're all thankful for that. And then also Jahan Dotson yeah. uh, joining here from the first round. 
w- take us through this wide receiver room mm-hmm. that you are the, the captain of and the leader yeah. of and, and what we can expect this year. Yeah, I think we have a very versatile group of guys um, from myself, um, Curtis, Jahan, Cam, Deami, Dax is, is helping us out a lot, Kelvin Harmon. Um, there's just so many guys I feel like who can not only make plays, but they're versatile. And I think that's extremely pivotal when you go into a long season like the NFL, where you're playing 17 games, you need guys who are flexible to be able to play all three receiver spots. And I think we have a good group of those. I think we have guys who can stretch the field. I think we have guys that make contested catches, good route runners inside and out. And uh, we're young. So I think that'll really give Carson a lot of plethora of weapons to go down there and trust us to make the play. And I think I've just tried to make it a point uh, to all the guys, it's not just about one guy in the room. It's about all of us because um, how if we can have as many threats as we can, that makes it tough on opposing defenses, and everybody's having fun. Everybody's contributing, and uh, you want to be able to have that trust in each and every guy that's in that room, and I think we're developing that with the quarterbacks. That's excellent. Terry McLaurin, thanks so much for the time. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me today. Always a stand-up guy there, Terry McLaurin, ranking 21st in PPR this season. He ranked 33rd in PPR points per game last season. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.